Um, I graduated from Nicola Ridge High School in 2006. I uh, was a Littleton resident um, now for 26 years. Uh, in fifth grade, I was uh, on lockdown on April 20th, 1999, as I watched my teachers uh, tear up as they knew that their former students were being uh, murdered at Columbine. Um, the elementary school I attended was Governor Branch Elementary School, the only people of elementary, so it definitely hit close to home. Um, I, I ended up transferring out of Columbine's district to go to Dakota to avoid a similar circumstance just because of the overall environment. Two years later, when I was at Sunbridge Middle School, I was actually placed on a hit list. Uh, Jefferson County Police came to me and notified me that I was put on a list uh, to be blown out by Sunbridge from one of our former students. She uh, later returned as a sophomore at Dakota Ridge High School two years later. And I can tell you that from my physical observation, she was clearly uncomfortable seeing the, the former students that she had uh, claimed to threaten. She commits suicide two weeks later. And what I want to bring up is that is the exact emphasis that I would like to place is the fact that our school districts are have consistently avoided warning signs, mainly because their overall concerns are with test scores and not student success and the overall environment they live in. I can tell you in regards to the 15 round clip restriction that the magazine that I hold at my house does not say that the magazine could cause me to commit suicide or have homicidal thoughts. And I can tell you that that only comes from the SSRI drugs that are pumped into our children consistently and probably because they were administered in a way that was a overdiagnosis. So I can tell you that the 15 round restriction is not enforceable and unconstitutional law. All the grandfather clips are still out on the street, and I can direct Wyoming so can the criminal down off of coal packs. These restrictions enable criminals while disabling law-abiding citizens. All you have to do is look at California, Chicago, New York. It's interesting that we bring up all of those states with the most important gun control restrictions, but they also have the highest murder rate. In 2008, Columbia v. Heller, the overall emphasis out of that case was not that there could be regulations. It's the fact that the Second Amendment is an intrinsic right for self-defense that was given to me by God, my maker, and it is not going to come from committees such as yourself. A criminal does not give you the power to remove my right to protect myself and my family from the same fate just because your child or your friend was injured. I have a right to protect myself and my family. And a recent point of fact poll has posted that 50% of Coloradans support repealing this law. And it's a direct infringement on my rights from a government who cannot protect me, even with their constant infringement on my Fourth Amendment right to privacy through an NSA spying. And I can also tell you that if the federal government is willing to ship illegal firearms to Mexico with the, that same restriction, I have no problem arming myself to protect myself against from criminals and drug cartels. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Nicholas. Are there any questions? Being none, thanks for being here today. Thank you.